Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice, and I want to continue on just a little bit more with respect to the uh, Korach Rebellion. We're talking about the uh, Book of Numbers, chapter 16. Korach, a Levite, mounts uh, an insurrection, a rebellion. Uh, he wants to usurp the leadership of the Jewish people, usurp Moses. And it says in verse 4 of chapter 16 of the book of Numbers, Moses heard and fell on his face. So what was it that caused this reaction? What, what, what did uh, Moses hear that agitated him so? Well, in the Talmud, in uh, Tractate Sanhedrin, Masakh Sanhedrin 110a, uh, our sages, Chazal, say that he's heard rumors being spread, malicious gossip that were being spread about him. These people suspected Moses of infidelity, of having relationships with an Aishas Ish, um, a married woman, Aishas Ish. And, as the uh, Talmud continues, not just a married woman, many married women. All of these men suspected their own wives of being unfaithful with Moses. And with Moses was having affairs with all these married women. It's sometimes hard to grasp the utter foolishness of this view. How could intelligent, normal people conjure up such an absurd claim against a 60, an 80 year old individual? Um, whose devotion, his piety, his virtue, his spiritual status was beyond characterization. It was uh, Harav Yehiel Ozrov. He's quoting the Sabakadisha of Imshpola. He derives a profound remis, a, a hint, an allusion from the last of the Ten Commandments. We are admonished, Lo sachmod eishis reacha, not to covet your fellow's wife. And eishis means wife, uh, wife of. It also means fire, fire of. Uh, because eish means fire. Uh, the uh, Saba interprets this verse as an enjoyment against, now follow this here, as an enjoyment against being envious of and coveting the fire of a person, his, his passion, his spiritual passion, that uh, the person is to do and to expend in the service of the Creator. What our neighbor, what our friend, is able to expend in the service of the Almighty? What ha he has merited to be granted from heaven, this schos, this fire, um, it's a result of his spiritual ascension. When we apply ourselves as well, when we devote ourselves to uh, spiritual quest with as much devotion, as the uh, the neighbor, the friend, will also be able to uh, be the recipient of that spiritual fire. So the Shpor, um goes on. How does this? What does this have to do with Karach? Well, he suspected. Um, he was under the impression, the erroneous impression that Moses' spiritual distinction was due to his role as leader of the Jewish people. Not that he was a leader of the Jewish people because of his spiritual distinction. No, that um, his distinction was he was deriving it from the people itself. That the source of the Aish, the fire within him, was the Jewish people. 
So, as leader, he was like uh, living off the people's inherent uh, kudusha, the holiness. His mistake was, in this verse, um, he makes the mistake. The previous verse says, uh, the man Moses was exceedingly humble, most humble person. That distinction was his own. He didn't get that from people. He took nothing from others. He was the man Moshe. He was an Ish, a man in his own right. So, this idea is to be understood from Moses, his response to Korach. When the man whom Hashem will choose, he is the Holy One. He says, you know what? We'll let God choose, me or you. And um, this distinction is found from someone who's truly uh, chosen by God. Um, it's not in the merit he gets from others. This is his own character. This is his own, his own uh, midos. Aaron was selected by God to be the kind of Godel. He was uh, selected by God to be the high priest. Um, Moses was chosen, selected by God, to be the quintessential, quintessential leader of the Jewish people. Korach's misunderstanding of this was the root of his error. Korach was not selected. In fact, um, Korach was most decidedly rejected and in a very forceful and dramatic way. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.